Hello, this is Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. In front of us is a 1966 Ford Mustang. This one is a convertible with the inline six cylinder engine and automatic transmission. It's got a white convertible top. That's a power top pony interior. And this car is really stunning. What I love about this car is how clean it is. Uh, the bodywork is fantastic. The underside, you definitely have to look at the underside photos. Uh, unrestored, no pan cutouts, no rust whatsoever. You just see, you know, just the, the clean metal, unaltered, just a fantastic car. No, uh, without any underspray on it, you know there's no stories that that's hiding. Everything is just super, super, that's two supers. I'll even throw three on there, <laughs> but I won't say it again. Um, it's just really clean and original. So hard to see a car like this without any rust issues um, or alterations. So one thing that makes this car, and it does drive, we will go for a drive here in this video. Uh, when I first, first got it, I was like, mm, you know, six cylinder, okay. Doesn't have uh, power steering, disc brakes, uh, no rack and pinion power steering. You know, a lot of the accoutrements that would get added on through the decades. But what makes this car really special, I think is, is exactly what it is, is the six cylinder. So rather than being, uh, you know, frame torqued with a V8, the car being passed down to uh, a whole bunch of uh, neighborhood kids throughout the decades, uh, and been been rallied or modified and then somebody had to rebuild it and it's never as good as factory This has just remained just a very good no hit car No tweaks no major alterations um, Just probably because that's had that six-cylinder engine in it. So it drives out So smooth and I'm going to take the top down we got to take more photos of the interior, and I'm like, I just don't want to button up the uh, the uh, convertible boot one more time because I definitely wanted to show the the soft top operation. So we'll get back to the interior, but we'll do the soft top. And this just operates without any drama. switch right here. And we'll come back and listen to the engine as well. So all manual windows, but those those regulators are all operate smoothly up and down. I've got all the photos of the glass, but no issues with the glass, no issues with the top operation. And we'll continue the video without this boot, but it's, uh, it's been photoed and will continue to be photoed with, on, with it on the car. And so that's easy to put on too, that soft top Putting it down just lines right up. You don't need it to be 85 degrees and three guys pulling on it. It just lines right up. So great door panels, excellent paint and vinyl. Same with your interior rear quarter panels, no damage. You've got seat belts, four seat belts. Sorry, that cord keeps getting there. You've got the Pony, the deluxe interior, the Pony package. Let's look at the uh, rear passenger side quarter panel. battery tender, rubber floor mats. The carpet's good, the seats are very good. 
And that is aftermarket, of course, your center console. But it's nice to have a cup holder and a center console to put some, some goodies in. But just like the, the underside of the car, the top side is just really well kept wherever you look. That is a real dash, no dash cover on that. Glove box is in great shape. Dash. Automatic transmission, which on a six cylinder, you know, just keep your hands on the wheel and, and cruise. Beautiful wheel, sharp looking instrument. Cluster. Upgraded radio. I'm sure could use another upgrade. Or just throw a wireless speaker in here and off you go. We do have some big speakers there. Nice tidy engine bay, inline six, upgraded aluminum radiator. Great door fit. No sag on those doors. Turn signal. And I just had this inspected today. All your fluids on the underneath are good. Even the rear diff fluid is really good. It's super tight under here. Some of these old cars, you gotta spend a bunch of time tightening up bolts and just everything's loose. Not the case with this car. We'll go drive it and see. So just really a functional driving car. Those are hubcaps, just the steel wheels with the hubcaps. And I just think it works really good. Some Mustangs, you know, got a couple right over here. You know, having aftermarkets on that 69, on the 65 certainly works. Just something about the simplicity of the hubcap, steel wheel. You're not trying to be something you're not here with this, uh, with this Mustang. Just a honest car, excellent cruiser. There's the thin stand, right where it should be. Mustang vinyl floor mats are there. Carpets are nice. So I could have kicked that down as we were listening to the engine. I didn't even notice it needed that kick down. So no power steering, but you know, you're not talking about a 19 now. Uh, 40s truck, it's still just easy to whip that wheel around. Shocks are in good shape as we're hitting those gutters. Make sure I'm in the right drive. Yeah, it's a neutral. Oil 
pressure's up. Fuel, I'll put some fuel in it tomorrow and see if that fuel gauge is an issue or if I'm about ready to walk back home. But great brakes, no grabbing. So that's park. So smooth reverse once you get it in there. I'll do that again, just you can see where it's lined up. Yes, and no clunking. Transmission fluid look good. Transmission operation is good. fun summer cruising convertible something you can enjoy for years to come and it's great body underside originality will certainly hold its value uh, I would look no further than this Mustang right here so this is Shep here at Sun Valley Auto Club you can contact me at 208-721-1973 really appreciate you watching Show you our bright operation. So those are the lights on. You kind of see the reflection. Bright. So last little bit. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great one. Happy driving and uh, happy summer.